Good evening. Welcome to Evening Prayer for Monday, 27th May, 2024. Holy, 
holy, holy is the Lord Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Blessed be the Lord our God, by whose grace we are yet alive. Blessed be his Son, Jesus Christ, by whose rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O Giver of life, and to be glorified through all the wills. Amen. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Psalm is Psalm 9 and 15. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing to your name, O Most High. When my enemies are driven back, they will stumble and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sit upon your true and judging right. You have rebuked the ungodly and destroy the wicked you have bloated out their name forever and ever as for the enemy they are finished in perpetual ruin the city is plowed under the memory of them perished but the lord is enthroned forever he has set up his throne for judgment it is he who rules the world with righteousness he judges, judges the peoples with equity. The Lord will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in time of trouble. Those who know your name will put their trust in you, for you never forsake those who seek you, O Lord. Sing praise to the Lord who dwelt in Zion. Proclaims to the peoples in the things he has done. The avenger of the blood will remember them, and he will not forget the cry of the afflicted. Have pity on me, O Lord. See the misery I suffer from those who hate me. O you who lift me up 
from the gate of death, so that I may tell of all your praises and rejoice in your salvation in the gates of the city of Zion. The ungodly have fallen into the pit they dug, and in the snare they set is their own foot court. The Lord is known by his acts of judge justice. The wicked are trapped in the works of their own hands. The wicked shall be given over to the grave and also all the people that forgot God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten and the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Rise up, O Lord. Let, lo let not the ungodly have the upper hand, but fear upon them, O Lord. Let the ungodly know they are not mortals. Psalm 15 Lord, who may dwell in your tabernacle, who may abide upon your holy hill, whoever leads a blameless life and does what is right, who speaks the truth from his heart. There is no heel upon his tongue. He does not does no evil to his friend. He does not heap concept, contempt upon his neighbor. In his sight the wicked is rejected, but he honors those who fear the Lord. He has sworn to do no wrong and does not take back his word. He does not give his money in hope of gain, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things shall never be overthrown. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now it shall be. Amen. For this reading is taken from Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verses 9 to 14. But take care and watch yourself closely, so as neither to forget the things that your eyes have seen, nor to let them slip from your mind all the days of your life. Make them known to your children and your children's children how you once stood before the Lord, your God, at Herod. When the Lord said to me, Assemble the people for me, and I will let them hear my words, so that they may learn to fear me as long as they live on the earth, and may teach their children to do so. You approached and stood at the foot of the mountain while the mountain was blazing up to the very heavens shrouded in dark clouds then the Lord spoke to you out of the fire you have heard the song of the words but saw no form there was only a voice he declared to you his covenant which he charged you to observe, that is, the Ten Commandments, and he wrote to them on those two tablets. And the Lord charged me at that time to teach you status and ordinance for you to observe in the land that you are about to cross into and occupy. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servants. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy 
the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Second reading is taken from 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 1 to 17. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the command of God our Savior and of Christ Jesus our hope, to Timothy, my loyal child in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I urge you, as I did when I was on my way to Macedonia, to remain in Ephesus, so that you may instruct certain people not to teach any different doctrine, and not to occupy themselves with myths and endless genealogies that promote speculations rather than a divine training that is known by faith. But, but the aim of such instruction is love that comes from a pure heart, a good conscience and sincere faith. Some people have dev deviated from these and turned to meaningless talk, desiring to be teachers of the law without understanding either what they are saying or the things about which they make assertions. Now we know that the law is good. If one uses it legitimately, this means understanding that the law is laid down not for the innocent but for the lawless and disobedient, for the godless and sinful, for the unholy and the profane, for those who kill their father and mother, for murderers, for fornicators, sodomites, slave traders, liars, perjurers, and who whatever else is contrary to the sound teaching that conforms to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which he entrusted to me. I am grateful to Christ Jesus our Lord, who has strengthened me, because he judged my faithful and appointed, and appointed me to his service. Even though I was formerly a blasphemer, a persecutor and a man of violence but I received mercy because I had acted ignorantly in unbelief and the grace of our Lord overflowed for me with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The sayings is sure and worthy of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the foremost but for that very reason I received mercy so that in me as the foremost Jesus Christ might display the utmost patience making me an example to those who would come to believe in him for eternal life to the king of the ages immortal, invisible, and the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word had been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. 
Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communions of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within among and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servant with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. Amen. The Kale Almighty and everlasting God, you have given to us your servant's grace by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal trinity and in the power of your divine majesty to worship the unity. Keep us steadfast in this faith and worship and bring us at last to see you in your one and eternal glory, O Father, who with the Son and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Grant, O Lord, that the course of this world may be peacefully governed by your providence providence, and that your church may be may joyfully serve you in confidence and sincerity through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Grant, Lord, that we may be faithful to you without turning aside, worship you without growing weary, serve you without failing, diligently seek you, happily find you, and forever possess you, the one and only God, blessed forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, you have promised to hear the prayers of those who ask in your Son's name. We pray that what we have asked faithfully, we may obtain effectively through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your Holy Word. 
May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.